Hello and welcome to Dark Souls 3. The first thing I gotta say is I have a little bit of cold, so sorry if I sound a little bit off. And the next thing is that this is an extremely requested video, and that is three more overpowered weapons before Vort of the Brio Valley. Now the first one we're going after is the Claymore, and the Claymore is a pretty powerful weapon. The first thing is, is that we have to make our way to this dragon, and this dragon, it has a little bit of fire that it breathes down, which can make it a little difficult to get to the claymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for it to breathe fire again. And the reason we're going to do this is just because we want to actually time it right so that way we can get a little bit burned, but also make the fire fade away by the time we get to the claymore. So it went ahead and breathed this fire. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the Claymore. You'll notice the fire stop. And then when we make it over here, we'll just take a drink from our Estus and we'll get the Claymore. And you'll notice we'll get burned again because it breathed fire again. Now we'll just make our way back as soon as we can, just trying to get through this fire. The music we're listening to, by the way, is from Dark Souls 1 and is the boss fight with Sif, the Great Wolf. It is probably still my favorite soundtrack of all of Dark Souls. But anyway, the Claymore has a D and D scaling with strength and dexterity. I've heard a raw Claymore is extremely powerful in the early game. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at its moveset. All right, so now we're to the second bonfire and we'll be going after the broadsword now. We'll make our way and kill some of these enemies along the way, but there's a particular path you have to take to get to the broadsword. All right, so now we're to this part and there's this guy who's gonna try to ambush us. What we're gonna do is just kill him. And then behind that wheel is where the broadsword is. Now the broadsword has a C scaling in strength and a D scaling in dexterity. I've heard that if you infuse it with the gem, that gives you scaling in both strength and dexterity, it can be a very strong weapon. I haven't tried that though, so it's something to test out. We'll just go ahead and watch its moveset. Now for the final weapon, we're actually going to just travel straight from the broadsword location to the next weapons location, and we're going to be getting the rapier. Now the rapier has a very fast attack speed, and something that I like to do with the rapier is do a magic spell word kind of build, and basically the magic buffs that you get when you're a wizard, they have a base rate which then scales. So in other words, you can do, I think it's like 25 for the regular magic weapon, and then like 15, 75 or something like that. You can get those buffs and it will make something with a quick speed really powerful. Now I'm just gonna point down here, and that is the location of the rapier. 
And then the next thing we're going to do is just dive down here. There's going to be this guy to kill. And one thing to keep in mind is there's this big knight walking around over here. But right now he's trapped. For me that's pretty lucky. But normally you'd want to watch out for him and not dive down there unless you know there's an opening. We'll get some embers which just happen to be laying around here. And then I will show you what this weapon does. You see as E scaling and strength, but C scaling and dexterity. And these are just the base scaling. They of course are going to go up a little more. I know the rapier goes up quite a bit in dexterity. You can see it just has a quick kind of R1 attack, which also is going to not take that much of your stamina. So because it doesn't take very much of your stamina, it's also going to make it where you can keep attacking over and over. But anyway, those are three more overpower weapons you can get before Vort of the Rio Valley. I will talk to you guys next time.